In this video, we will be seeing the fourth type of function called as 1 1 on 2 function. We have already studied three types of function till date 1 1 function, many 1 function, and on 2. And let us get going with the fourth type 1 1 on 2 function. What is a 1 1 on 2 function? A 1 1 on 2 function is the one as the name suggests which is both 1 1 and on 2. So, let us write the definition. A function which is a function which is both 1 1 and on 2 is called as 1 1 on 2 function. Now, we already know from the previous knowledge what is 1 1 function, what is on 2 function. We just have to combine the study of both to study 1 1 on 2 function. Let us see the example. If I have two sets A and B and the mapping is shown by F, there are different elements in A, there are different elements in B. Say 1, 2, 3, 4 are the elements of A. 8, 9, 10, 11 are the elements in B. Now, these 4 elements of A and the 4 elements of B are associated in a manner that 1 is related to 8, 2 is related to 9, 3 is related to 10, 4 is related to 1. So, what would happen? All elements of A, that means different elements of A are related to different elements of B. Also, no element of B is left unassociated. That means, we have followed the condition of 1, 1 in this diagram, different elements of A related to different elements of B. We have also seen that on 2 is followed in this diagram because all the elements of B have one or the other pre-image in A. So, this is an example of 1, 1 on 2. But in case the diagram would have been somewhat different wherein we had again two sets with some elements listed and the mapping done as F. Suppose we had 1, 2, 3 as the elements in A, A, B, C as the elements in B and the mapping was such that 1 was associated with A, 2 was associated with B, 3 was associated with C and D wasn't unassociated, it was unassociated, there was no association. That means different elements of A have different associations, okay it is 1, 1. But is this on 2? No, it is not on 2 because D is left unassociated. So, this is not 1, 1 on 2. So, a function for being 1, 1 on 2 has to be both 1, 1 and on 2. But if it is not 1, 1 on 2, that means either it is not 1, 1 or it is not on 2. Let us also see one more example for the same. Actually, the arrow diagrams can be illustrated in this manner. But what if we have some subjective example to it? A subjective example would be a function wherein we have natural numbers to even numbers. A mapping such that we have natural numbers to even numbers. This is another example that we are taking up after these two examples that we already took up. Now, Natural numbers to even numbers, suppose I have the mapping as or the function as different elements present, say 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6 and so on. So now, is this 1, 1 or is this 1, 1 on 2? Let us see. We have n as the domain, yes, 1, 2, 3 and so on. We have the co-domain or the range as same, 2, 4, 6 and so on. The domain had to be n which is actually there. The range of the co-domain had to be e which is again there. 
So we say that yes, this is an example of 1, 1 on 2. It must be noted that in the above types also that we did, 1, 1 function has the other name which is called as an injective function. So if you find somewhere injective, that basically means it is 1, 1. Similarly, onto function has another name called as a surjective function. And 1, 1, onto together would be known as by a different name. Now what is the different name there? The different name of 1, 1 function with onto, that means 1, 1, onto function is bijective function. So 1, 1 is injective, onto is surjective and 1, 1, onto is bijective which we had seen in this video. In the next video, we will be covering the another type which is many 1, onto.